Hey, what's up? What's good? It is me, your boy, Guac Trooper Man, back again with another video. Video! You feel what I'm saying, your boy Guac Trooper's back again with another video, you feel me? Yeah, I know you miss me, because I miss you too. You feel me? Yeah! Yeah! How you doing today? You know what I'm saying? Um, welcome to all the visitors, and um, what's up to all the Trooper members, you feel what I'm saying? And, um, yeah! And uh, to all my visitor, to all my vi visitors that are visiting, if you would like to be a, a, a member of the crew, you feel me? A member of the gang, which is the Trooper Gang, because you feel me? It's Trooper Gang or no gang. All you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe. You feel what I'm saying? And um, yeah, just like that. You know, as you know, you already know the vibes, man. I say it every time. It's Trooper Gang or no gang. You feel me? And uh, yeah. Yep, true gang on no gang. Yep, without being said, we're gonna get straight to the video today. Yeah, we're gonna get straight to the reaction. Let's get straight to it. Yep. Sorry, right now, right now, right now. <laughs> alright, alright, we are reacting to today. Is he using her to pay his rent and bills? You feel what I'm saying? Loyalty test. We're gonna get straight to it. I don't know. I, you know, I have never reacted to a video like this before. Where a man is using a woman to, um, you know, make the women pay the men bill. That's kind of crazy, but let's get straight to it. You feel me? Make sure you like the video for support. And, uh, yeah. Today, we're going to be helping Wendy find out if her boyfriend is only with her because of her money. I pay for practically everything. I pay for his car note, his insurance, food, what? gas. You freaking name it. I'm practically his, like, he's my dependent. Why are you funding no way. his life? I care about him a lot, and obviously I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't, but I don't want this relationship to go any further if he's not gonna be loyal. We've come up with a plan to help Wendy's boyfriend prove his loyalty. This will be his chance to show her that he does love her and isn't only using her and doing things behind her back. So if he passes this test, then are you still willing to like fund his life like that? The least this man could do is be loyal, right? But I think the bigger question is, I will mean, Wendy still be willing to fund a grown man's life if he passes this test? I hope you guys have your talkies for this one because you guys already know. This sh gonna be good. We'll see Just about that. To the home, setting everything up, making everything look good, waiting for everyone to arrive as well. When the time was right, Wendy would be leaving to get her boyfriend Jermaine. She would then bring him back to this home under the impression that they were coming to a white elephant Christmas party that her coworkers were supposedly throwing. We're back. Amongst the coworkers was our decoy Anna. She would be the one hitting on Jermaine and testing if he would stay loyal. So these guys are chilling here. For all we know, Move is pulling a loyalty test over there. <laughs> As the sun began to set, Wendy made her way to Jermaine. We finished setting everything up and everyone got into position. Wendy texted me when she was almost here and it was game time. Alrighty guys, everybody in character. This is it. They will be here in five, 10 minutes. You guys got this. That's, good. That's crazy. Here we go. Hey, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Hey, what's up, man? Good to see you. This is my What's your name? Jermaine. Jermaine? Nice to meet you. Here we go. They're here. They have arrived. Everyone's in here. Do you guys want a... How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good to see you. Do you want a... Good, good, good. Toko Chico? What's up, brother? Muba. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Wendy walked in pretending to know some people and not knowing others. Remember, these are supposed to be her co-workers. Ooh, love the gifts. Do you want a seltzer? We got Christmas music going to make this thing believable. Hopefully this video doesn't get copyrighted though, but in case it does, give it a big thumbs up, please. The goal was now for Wendy to make her exit so that Anna could make her move. But first we had to let Jermaine enjoy the party a little. Damn, why are they all by the kitchen? We literally thought they were gonna be hanging out more like outside or in the living room, but they're all literally in the kitchen. Why didn't we set that angle up a little bit better? Who's getting fired? Friendship. What? Friendship. So unfortunately, you guys are gonna have to picture Jermaine having a good time while tucked away in this blind spot here. He was truly enjoying himself. He was enjoying some snacks, some drinks, and his time getting to know everyone, including our decoy on it. Damn, this looks legit. <laughs> Eventually, people trickled outside to hang out. Jermaine finally left the kitchen, only for 10 minutes later to go back and hang out in this blind spot. Elias began hitting on Anna, but got rejected. Xavier and Shelby seemed to have hit it off. Muba began spitting some game, and Anna was digging him. Ken and Elias consented this so they walked away and cock blocked Xavier. This music is making That's me crazy. forget that we're filming a loyalty test. I say we go back to the suspenseful part. You guys, do you guys play um, beer pong or like any like party games or anything? Really? Dude, I brought some really cool like games to play. Uh, you want? Yeah, yeah. 
It's actually right there. You want to help me set it up? Yeah. It was time for Wendy to make her exit, so we texted Muba to distract Jermaine. This game, it's like a, it's like a life. You, you put the actual beer pong cups and like, I'll show you actually. As planned, Muba asked Jermaine to help him set up some party games in the backyard. Uh, this way, this way, this way, this way. Sorry, you have to go this way. Muba would lead him to the furthest side of the yard onto this patch of grass. From here, the inside of the home is hardly visible, allowing Wendy to make her exit. All right, here we go, Wendy's on her way. What is good? Now what was visible from this patch of grass was this bedroom window, which is actually where we were. Well, you can hear everything. We had to be very careful not to raise any alarm that something other than a Christmas party was going on at this house. Hella nervous, I'm not gonna lie, but. Was he suspicious about anything? Mm -mm. Okay, now let me ask you this. Did you get him the white elephant gift or did he end up getting it? I bought it. You bought it? <laughs> yeah, I made it easy for him so that mm -hmm. he could just show up and that's mm -hmm. it. So all we gotta do is like set him up as if, like basically, it dude, yeah, yeah. Why was it that you wanted to put him to the test? I am pretty much supporting this guy. I pay for practically everything. I pay for his car note, his insurance. He's my dependent. Have you had a conversation with him? Like I have, but he's like one of those that's like, oh, I'm gonna invest in crypto. I wanna invest in real estate. And mm. you know, I get it. Have your dreams, but like you gotta pay the bills too. I've known Wendy yeah. for a long time, man. Yeah. I've known her forever, man. They're like mutual mutual friends. That's not even the worst part. He's like slowly trying to be sneaky and move into my house, but he's trying to be smooth with it. He's trying to get more comfortable. Wow. Come on. You pay his bills. You said you pay for practically everything. The phone, I don't know about the phone bill, but the car note, whatever. He left his toothbrush first, and then he was like leaving his gym bag. He's like, oh, your house is near the gym oh, bag. He, he was leaving some other guy. clothes. If he really does want to get to that step in the relationship. He's got to get his together. <laughs> oh, you play ball? Bro. I don't play ball. I'm not good at it. Okay. So Jermaine is unemployed, broke, lazy, and trying to sneakily move in with his girlfriend. That's I've crazy. known people like this, and frankly, I don't get them. How can you? You know what's crazy? If the roles were switched, if it was her that was doing what he was doing, it wouldn't be a problem. But since, you know, he's the man, you feel what I'm saying? He can't do that. He's supposed to be the one that's providing and this and that. So that's why it's a problem. But if it was her that was doing it, it would have not been no problem. It's crazy, huh? Can you be broke, have someone else covering your bills, and not feel bad? This man needs to go get a job. He's perfectly healthy and able to be a productive member of society. I am baffled that Wendy even gave him the time of day. But I mean, hey, I guess love is blinding, right? I don't ask for much. Are I you really hating, don't. bro? Mm -hmm. I'm like, the least you could do is just be loyal. So if he passes this test, then mm -hmm. are you still willing to like fund his life like that? Yes and no. Yeah. Yes, I would like to help him, but like not forever. I'll give it like a good month if he passes this. One month. One Pass month, it. yeah. Let's try this game out. Let's, let's see what this is all about. Muba asks Jermaine to set up one last party game with him before completing his role and taking him inside. It's and wings are actually on their way. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was now Ken's job to let Jermaine know that his girlfriend supposedly ran to the store to pick up a Christmas game that she really wanted everyone to play. Yeah, so she said she'd be right back. With Jermaine under the impression that his girlfriend would be a while, Anna was now free to approach and ask him to play a game of Pong. Because we were busy out there playing, you know, so she you probably... Guys, you guys just set up the beer pong outside, right? Yeah, yeah. it's actually pretty sick because the buckets... Play Wanna play? Let's play. Okay. Oh, uh, you, you guys are going to need the cups. Jermaine seemed a bit off-put by his girlfriend's leaving. Oh, he's in the bathroom. Anna Loki saved it, though, and he agreed to play with her. After taking a piss next door. After he emptied his tank, we were back in business. I've never played beer pong like this, so you're gonna have to show me how to set it up and all this other stuff. So how are we doing this? All right, here we go, game time. And just like that, we finally got our decoy and Jermaine by themselves. Additionally, we also provided Anna with a good 20 minutes before Wendy, quote unquote, returns from the store. Plenty of time to make her move. Ladies first. <laughs> oh, told you. Chug, chug. All right, we don't got all day, come on. Oh shoot. I don't know. So you said that you don't need a phase two, phase three. Oh, no. Why would I need a phase two or a phase three? It's black and white for me. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to see it like no, he does something wrong with no, her or he actually goes through no. with it. That, that. I'm not there. Mm -hmm. He should be mentioning me. He should be like, I got a girlfriend. The end, point blank, period. Yeah. <laughs> what did you okay. bring to the whole white elephant? You should find out when everybody else is. Standing no, on I want to know. I don't think I'm supposed to tell you that. Just tell me. <laughs> ah. 
I've been told that once or twice. Ah, bruh, calm down. <laughs> he gonna get tipsy. Oh, okay. Thank or you, drunk. I guess. Who knows? The dual plan makes small talk for another five minutes before Anna proceeds to finally making her move. Since you don't want to tell me your gift, how about we help each other out for it? I want everyone to hear. How about we work together for, for the white elephant? We go signal to each other about which gift we want. Mm. You know it sounds good. Deal? I can tell that. Sneaky as hell. Sneaky? No. Yeah. No, I'm not. Hey, I'm not complaining. Oh. Wow. Come on, man. Well, she paid for everything, bro. Don't fall. Don't don't fall for it, bro. I mean, I don't know. You kind of giving me a little tempting offer over here, and you got your little body language all up next to me. And shit. I'm trying to see what's up. I'm just trying to see the presents. That's crazy. So, what? You got a man? No, I don't have a man. But why are you asking? I'm just curious. I'm wondering. Why wondering. are you wondering? I can't find out. I'm a beautiful woman like yourself. I'm just trying to see if you see But wow. why are you asking us? What, what, why are you asking? What is the point of your, oh, your question? Man. You're trying to get my number or something? Yeah. Come on, bro. Not in 4K. She paid for everything, dog. She pays for everything. Come on. That's crazy, man. He fought, he fought for it, bro. I might give it to you. I mean. Yeah, you sneaky as fuck. I see it already. Sure, okay. Man, you a little devil, like a little devil on the present show. No, in I no. See it already. No, I can't make you do anything you don't want to. Mm, I didn't say I didn't want to. Oh, okay. That's a crazy, man. Devil, huh? mm -hmm. I don't need to listen anymore. I got it. I'm, I'm done. I'm f***ing done. A thousand percent done. We're just gonna go ahead and do like this right here, right? Okay. Go ahead and do me a favor. Go ahead and lock me. Okay. Lock I'm gonna tell you this though. I think you're cute and all, so I will give you my number, but I'm not a home wrecker. Home wrecker? Who said anything about that? It's not even that serious. It's not that serious? It's not, and I promise you that. Bro. Okay. It's not serious, bro. Again, she pays everything. And you're trying to move in with her. I ain't gonna lie, that's kind of like I said earlier. Imagine if the, the roles were switched, and then if, if he was the guy that was trying to catch his girlfriend you know, to see if the girlfriend was loyal. And then, you know, sometimes you just gotta put yourself in their situation, man, in their shoes, because that's crazy. That's that's crazy. That's crazy, dude. Damn. Come on, bro. Here you go. This better not be no rejection hotline. So you're just gonna do your girl like that, though? Yo, you gotta relax. You're the one who came up to me. You want to play games, right? Yeah. Games, so you were trying to okay. get one beyond it. And you okay. fall for it. Yeah, I like I said, I think you're kind of cute. Yeah, you know I'm like, <laughs> it's cool. Okay. That was pretty bad. That was pretty quick. Damn. I'm so embarrassed right now. So embarrassed. I'm curious. I'm curious to what? It's kind of loud in there, huh? No, what? Anyway, hold okay. on. Here, can you, you sit down with me. Okay. Oh, with daddy now. I'm done. I'm ready to throw his piece of shit out. Wow. I'm gonna give him the gift. The Everyone pain, going to the, the kitchen pain, may the have pain. given Jermaine the confidence to get comfortable with Anna. What a f***ing idiot. He thinks you're gone for like 20, 40 minutes. So that's mm -hmm. probably why he's getting all comfortable with her too. We prepared Wendy for a journey to her car. She would be retrieving a gift while I stayed behind to make sure a decoy was safe. How cold do you think that water is in that pool? I am definitely not trying to. Why not? Now, why was Wendy getting a gift from her car? Well, because it was for Jermaine. So, where are we gonna go? Where are you gonna take me? Cheesecake factory. That's <laughs> cool. They have good avocado rolls. Cheesecake I've been there factory. forever. We didn't want to take any chances, but once I got the sense that Anna was safe, I texted Wendy to wait for me outside because I had to see this gift before it was given to Jermaine. Sorry. I wanted to see it. Damn, so this is it? Ripped it. It is all his clothes. All his That's crazy. Is in here. Wow. Wendy knew this test could have wow. that outcome and she wanted to be ready for it. She was ready to kick this man out of her house and her life in the craziest way possible. She didn't need a phase two or a phase three. This man had a bit the hand that was feeding him. Are you down to confront him with no cameras? I'm down. I feel like if you give him the gift and the cameras are there, he's going to already know something's yeah. up and be thrown off. Yeah. So what if we stay back in the room and then if anything, you just like record it off my phone or something? Okay. Down for that? Yeah. Okay. And so with that, we shut off the Christmas music. We went back to hiding to not mess up Wendy's surprise. And we got ready for this one of a kind confrontation. I hope you guys have your talkies for this one because you guys already know. Jermaine. This is going to be good. Good. Okay? 
Jermaine. Wait, what was that? That that wasn't good. That's you. One. I don't think we should go together. Nah. Buddy, you already got caught, man. It was a trap all along. Come here. Alone. Come here for a second. I got you something. For you. Open it. I got you your gift first. I wanted you to open it in front of everyone. Aw, that's pretty nice. Yeah. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. Yeah. That's cool. Yo, that's crazy. Open it. They funny, man. I'm gonna record this because it's something. Not I'm the gonna record. Little do he know he's been, you know, You're recorded the only this one whole being time. Awkward right now. Just open it. Just. Yo, what is it? not the Nike slides. Wow. What is it? Tell everyone. Show them what it is. Show them what it is. Exposure. Show them what crazy. it is. No, 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 no. Show them no, what no, no, it no, is. No. Show them what the that is. What wow. is it? What is it? You're a lying piece of You're a lying son of a mooching off me. Are you gonna fess up? Are you gonna tell everybody what the you just did? Or should I? This loser asked for her number, was flirting with her. I'm gone for 20 minutes and this is what you do? I bought you that. So actually the that I bought, give that No, 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 no. you're really tripping. You're tripping, what are you, bro? What are you doing? Bro, what the is this? Are you, no. That's crazy. Yo. Oh, off. Yeah. That boy gone. So embarrassing. Wait, where'd he go? He gone. He, the he took off. And did he jump the, uh, the gate? They probably got a back door. Oh, he out of there. Out of there. You're gonna let him go. Now you know. But I feel like such a idiot. You're not an idiot. You like, are not an idiot. You're not. Don't ever. You know what's crazy? Now, gentlemen, you feel me? Now, gentlemen, now you can see that not only you guys is they get treated like this you feel me also grown women or girls that have money get treated like this too you feel me when you as a man you have a lot of money and um, you know i'm guessing a little bit of fame added on top of it and then you looking for a love and you're looking for a girlfriend and then you feel me when you get the girlfriend you had that one um you know you had that one thought in mind like you know you just hope that they don't want you for your money you just hope that you they want you for your for you not just for the money and this and that but then you ended up you know try to test them you know do like a loyalty test on them and then they ended up failing obviously because they actually wanted you for your money it goes both way you feel me you have guys that only want women for money also so don't think that you're the only one yes majority of the time it happens it happens to men but you got women out here you got strong independent women out here that are going through it too you feel what i'm saying so before you say something make sure you think about it first and do your research my guy think that okay he just left <laughs> that's a first straight up left damn <laughs> well he's gone is he still here Keep digging. That's crazy. Gold digger. Hey, so let me ask, who is Shelby to you? She's one of my friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why? What's up? Oh, no. Give me the eye earlier. Really? That's crazy, man. No, that's what I'm saying. That's crazy. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, you feel what I'm saying? If you made it this far, you feel me? Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yes, um, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and um. You feel me? Trooper gang or no gang. You know what I'm saying? And I was saying earlier, fellas, you're not the only ones that are going through this. You got women out here that, that are going through the, the same phase. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? Don't judge a book by its cover. You feel me? Um, Don't don't talk about what's inside the water until you um jump inside the water or until you do your research about what's inside the water. I was that was just a metaphor you feel what i'm saying i was you know i kind of came up with that but without being said um thank you for watching and uh i'm out she wants to go super oh she's looking for that what